see what we're doing. Oh, hey, hey, steady, 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 steady. Ah. Dear, oh dear. What do you think you two are doing? Oh, us? Of course I mean you. You're the baggage handlers. You're paid to push the trolleys, not ride on them. Now, when you're in uniform, you represent flyaway air. And you both know what that means. Oh, yes. When you fly with flyaway air, you fly without a care. You won't end up in Spain with the luggage in Western Supermare. That's right. That's our motto. <laughs> and it's very important that we live up to it. Oh, we'll do that, won't we, Barry? Oh, yes. Well, I'll try. Now, you're the only two workers here today, so you've got to do everything, from greeting the passengers to public announcements. Ooh. Now, I'm depending on you two, so remember, no slacking. Right, you heard what he said? We're the only two workers here today, and we're going to have to do everything. So we'll start by practising our customer relations. Well, I know those already. Go on, then. Well, first of all, you're my brother. No, no, he... no, not that kind of relations. Look, come over here, I'll show you. Right, now you pretend to be a customer. I'll be behind the counter. Right. Ooh. What's wrong? These cases are really heavy. They're only pretend cases. Oh, right. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Could I have your name, please? Why, haven't you got one of your own? Of course I have, but I need to know your name. You know me name? Yes, but I'm pretending I don't know you. Why? What have I done wrong? Nothing. Oh, look, let's start again. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Could I have your name? It's Barry. Barry what? No, Barry Chuckle. Chuckle, Chuckle, Chuckle. What's funny? Ah, yes, Barry Chuckle. Are you travelling alone? Well, I was hoping there'd be somebody to fly the plane. And can I give you a seat next to the window? Certainly. Which side? Inside. Will you be serious? Would you like to check in your cases? Er, uh, no, thank you. Why not? I checked in them before I left home this morning. No, you're not taking this seriously at all. No. What will you do if a real customer comes along? I... Cooey! Can someone help me with my cases? Hey, quick, smile yourself up. That's a real customer. Well, can you do me tie for me? Oh, dear, oh, dear. You know, you're going to have to learn to do this yourself. I'll not always have time to tie your tie. Oh. Come on. Ah, good morning, madam. Can we take your cases? No, no, no. I don't want them leaving my sight. They're full of very valuable things. Don't worry, madam. With fly away air, you fly without a care. Yes, but not without my luggage. It'll be safe in my hands. <laughs> Ooh. What have you got in here? Gold bars? No, no. Just some soft toys. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I packed the cases. <laughs> now, can we get on? Well, you can if you like, but there's only room for one. What do you get? Right. Now, madam, just a few questions. The name is Snow. Ah, Snow? Snow. Quick, quick, Snow. Oh, yes. Flying to Spain. Spain, yeah. Oh, you're the lady who's hired the private jet. So? You must be made of money. No, no, I just don't like big airports with lots of customs officials and security men. Oh, yes, I know what you mean. So it's... Um... Just a one-way ticket. Fine, fine. Oh, you've done this before. And uh, how much hand luggage are you taking, then? All of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid that's quite impossible, madam. Only one piece of hand luggage each. Don't worry, the rest goes on this conveyor belt and then straight out to the plane. Oh, well. Well, all right, then. But please be very careful. I'm very attached to some of my teddy bears. Some of them are very old. Oh, yes, some of them can be very valuable. They can be worth the weight in gold. What do you mean by that? Nothing. Uh, and on the conveyor belt today, we have... A daddy suitcase. Ooh. A mummy suitcase. Ooh. And a little baby suitcase. Ooh. And something that's fallen out. A cuddly toy. Uh, please, please be careful. Good game, good game. It's all right, madam. It all goes down the conveyor belt and straight onto the aeroplane. Barry, start the conveyor belt. Right. There you go. So who takes them off at the other end? We, we do. do. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's torn it. No, I think it's just dented. These don't sound like soft cuddly toys to me. Yeah, we've got no time to muck about with them. Come on, let's get them on the plane. Which plane? The plane for Spain. The one with the rain? No. Excuse me. Hey, you're going to take Mrs Snow to the departure lounge. I'll put this lot on the plane. OK. So, can we make a start now? I don't know. I once made the Sydney Opera House out of a table napkin. Oh, 
just get me to the plane. Certainly, madam. Would you like to step on here? Hold on tight. Here we go. where you're going? Yes. I know this airport like the back of my hand. Would you like anything? A paper or something? No, just come on. Oh, all right. Just have to go through the metal detectors now, Mrs Snow. Clang, clang, clang went the trolley. Ding, ding, ding went the bell. Well, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs Snow, but I'm afraid you're going to have to go through it again. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> clang, clang, clang went the trolley. Ding, ding, ding went the bell. No, 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 no. I mean, you've got to go through the machine again. If you walk through, it should be OK. That's it. What have you done? I didn't do anything. It must be your buttons on your jacket. Go on, you have to take it off. Take it off? Mm-hmm. It must be your cufflinks. You'll have to take your shirt off. Go on. Zip. Must be the zip. I know. What can that be? It must be. Broken. Now, can I board the plane now? Oh, yes, all right, but we have to do the safety drill. Well, can't we do the okie cokey instead? No, no, we have to do the safety drill. This way. Right. Back to handle the instructions. All right, then. Right. In case of emergency. Uh, shouldn't we do this inside the plane? Oh, no, there's no room. In case of emergencies, the exits are to be found here, here, and here. The aisle will be lit by emergency lighting down either side. Your life jacket can be found under your seat. When you are told, you place your life jacket over your... You're not being told yet. Oh, sorry. Simon says, put your life jacket on. Simon says, tie the ties. Simon says, blow the whistle. <whistles> Pull the toggle. You're out. What do you mean? Simon didn't say pull the toggle. His name's not Simon, his name's Barry. Just cos you're losing. Losing what? Losing my patience. I want to get to Spain on that plane. Well, we've just got a couple of announcements to make, then you'll be on your way. Come on, Barry. Say, Barry. It says here, press the switch to turn the microphone on, make the announcement after the ding dong. Oh, well, that sounds easy enough. Can I have a go then? It's not that simple. Oh, tell you what, I'm starving. When are we going to have some lunch? Later. I've got to concentrate now. Oh, I hope you two aren't slacking. Oh, no, sir. I was just about to make an announcement. Good. 
And what do you think you look like? Well, me mum always says I look like a little lost puppy, but I don't think so. I mean, you look a mess. And as for this, looks like a bit of old rag. Get yourself smartened up. Remember, you represent flyaway air, so no slacking. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Would all passengers for flyaway air... Hang on. Fly... It didn't dong. What didn't dong? The ding dong. The ding dong didn't dong? The ding dong bell. Well, is it broken? I don't know. It might be a loose lead. I'll have a look. Well, hurry up, because they're ready for takeoff. That's the problem. They're not plugged in. Try it now. No, still no ding dong. Oh, keep trying. Hang on. It's not working at all now. Put them all back where they were. I'll make my own ding dong. Okay. Oh, it's working now. Would all passengers of flight 613 please now board? Flight 613 is now ready for takeoff. Ready for takeoff? I just said that. Message received and understood. Barry, will you stop talking in that stupid voice? I never said a word. Just shut up, smarten yourself up, and go and put Mrs. Snow on the plane. When are we going to get some lunch? Well, we'll go out later. We'll get a taxi. Oh. Roger. Who's Roger? I don't know. Look, stop messing about and go and sort out Mrs. Snow. Where's my tie? He's here. Can you help me put it on? Get that thing off the ground. Roger. I'm not called Roger. Look, put that tie on before the boss comes back. Well, can't you help me? No, do it yourself. I can't. Look. Just show me what you can do with it. Roger. Go, right over left. Then up and under. Now through the loop. Hit the late drop. Now take it up and under. Loop it. Drop it straight down through the gap. Perfectly done. Wonderful exercise. Coming into land. Over and out. What? I never even told him to take off. You two! What have you done? I practiced tying me tie. I mean, out there! What's our motto? When you fly with flyaway air, you fly without a care. Exactly, a care. Not fly without any care at all. You're lucky Mrs. Snow wasn't on that plane, or you'd be baggage handlers for the rest of your lives. Oh, well, that's all right, because she's sitting in the lounge. She's not in the lounge. Well, if she's not in the lounge, where could she be? The plane! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Mrs. Snow. It appears the plane developed a technical fault. I think I need to lie down. Of course. We'll transfer your luggage immediately, and then you'll be on your way. Get those cases unloaded, then report to my office. I want a word with you. Morning. Is that Roger? Don't know. Oh, dear, oh, dear. They've got messed up in here a bit, Barry. To me, then. Here are they. Oh. Oh. To you. Yeah. To you. Hey, this one's come open. You better close it. Oh. There's something not quite right here. What do you mean? Why would someone with a one-way ticket to Spain only take a teddy collection? I don't know. Come on. Right, you two. 
Explain yourselves. Well, he, um... I, um... To wreck my airport, send a plane off to do some daft aerobatics with a passenger on board whose luggage you have destroyed. It's gold bullion. She's Granny Grunt, the gold grabber. Don't you move a muscle or the teddy gets it. You, car keys. And don't you try to come after me. They don't call me Granny Grunt, the getaway driver, for nothing. They don't call you Granny Grunt, the getaway driver, at all. Well, they should do. Goodbye. Well, get after her. Exactly the same earlier on. Well done. Of course, I know all along that Mrs. Snow was, in fact, Granny Grunt the Gold Grabber. I was just playing along with it. Now, come on, get this place tidied up while I call the police. And smarten yourselves up. No ties. Snow ties. <sighs> More like Granny Knots. 